ever feel like you're walking a tightrope between wellness and work? It's a common struggle in our fast-paced world, where the lines between professional and personal life often blur. We're living in an era where the expectation to be always on is immense, and the pressure can be overwhelming. Modern life is like a juggling act, where we're trying to keep multiple balls in the air. We're striving to meet our work goals, but at the same time, we're conscious of the importance of self-care. But when the work ball becomes heavier and demands more of our attention, our wellness ball is at risk of dropping. This constant balancing act can take a toll on our mental and physical health. Stress, burnout, and fatigue become unwelcome companions, hindering our ability to perform at our best in any sphere of life. So, how can we better balance our wellness and work? Let's dive into some practical strategies. First, let's clarify what we mean by wellness. Wellness is a multi-dimensional concept that encompasses more than just physical health. It's a holistic approach to life that includes our mental and emotional well-being as well. It's about more than just being free from illness or disease. It's about actively engaging in behaviors and habits that promote a higher quality of life and a sense of personal fulfillment. Picture a state of optimal well-being where you're not only surviving but truly thriving. This is wellness. It's about nourishing our bodies with proper nutrition and regular exercise, nurturing our minds with continuous learning and positive thoughts, and enriching our hearts with strong relationships and emotional resilience. Wellness is a proactive approach to living, where we take responsibility for our own health and happiness, and make choices that lead to a balanced and satisfying life. Now that we understand what wellness is. How can we incorporate it into our busy work lives? Balancing work and wellness doesn't have to be a juggling act. Here are some practical strategies. First off, let's talk about setting boundaries. It's essential to have a clear distinction between your work time and personal time. This means carving out parts of your day that are exclusively for you and your wellness. It could be as simple as taking a half-hour walk after lunch. Or dedicating your mornings to meditation and yoga before diving into work. Next, prioritize self-care. This term has been tossed around a lot lately, but it isn't just a buzzword. It's a crucial aspect of maintaining balance. Self-care could mean many things, from taking time for hobbies that bring you joy, spending time with loved ones, or even just pampering yourself with a relaxing bath. The idea is to fill your life with activities that rejuvenate you, not just ones that drain you. Now, let's talk about incorporating movement into your workday. Sitting for long periods can take a toll on your body and mind, so why not shake things up a bit? Try taking a short walk during your break, do some stretches at your desk, or even hold a walking meeting. The key is to keep your body active, helping you stay focused and energetic. Mindfulness is another powerful tool in balancing work and wellness. Practicing mindfulness means being fully present in the moment, which can help reduce stress and increase productivity. Try incorporating simple mindfulness exercises into your day, like mindful breathing or eating. Never underestimate the importance of regular breaks. They can boost your productivity and prevent burnout. A five-minute break every hour can make a world of difference. And remember, a healthy diet and getting enough sleep are just as vital. Your body and mind need fuel and rest to function optimally. Remember, these strategies are not one size fits all. Find what works best for you and your lifestyle. You are the expert of your own life, so craft a routine that suits your needs, your goals, and your idea of wellness. After all. Wellness isn't a destination; it's a journey. But what about the workplace? How can we make wellness a part of our work culture? Well, it can start with employers fostering a culture that values wellness as much as it values productivity. One effective way to do this is by offering flexible work hours. This can allow employees to structure their workday in a way that best suits their individual needs, 
and promotes their overall well-being. Promoting mental health is another crucial aspect of a wellness-oriented work culture. This could involve providing access to counseling services or perhaps organizing regular workshops on stress management and mindfulness. Encouraging open conversations about mental health can also help to break down stigma. Fostering a supportive and understanding environment. Encouraging breaks is yet another strategy that can make a big difference. We've all heard the saying, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Well, it turns out it can also make Jack a stressed and unproductive boy. Regular breaks can refresh the mind, reduce stress and boost productivity. So whether it's a lunch break away from the desk or a short walk in the afternoon, it's important to remember that taking time to recharge is not a luxury, but a necessity. Providing resources for physical health is also vital. This could be as simple as providing ergonomic furniture or as ambitious as setting up a company gym. Employers could also consider initiatives like sponsoring fitness classes or organizing healthy eating workshops. And of course, leading by example is key. When leaders prioritize their own wellness, it sends a powerful message to the rest of the team. It shows that wellness isn't just a buzzword, but a genuine value that the company stands behind. When wellness becomes a part of work culture, everyone benefits. It's a win-win situation. Indeed, a culture of wellness can lead to happier, healthier employees, and ultimately a more productive and successful business. So let's make wellness a work culture, not just an afterthought. So. We've talked about the struggle of balancing work and wellness, and we've explored some practical strategies. Let's sum it all up. First off, we've established that the struggle is real. We all grapple with the challenge of maintaining our health and wellness while meeting the demands of our careers. But we've also recognized that it's not a zero sum game. Work and wellness can and should coexist harmoniously in our lives. A key point we've discussed is the importance of setting boundaries. It's essential to delineate your work time from your personal time and respect those boundaries. By doing so, you create a space for relaxation and rejuvenation, which are critical for your overall well-being. Prioritizing self-care is another crucial strategy. It's not a luxury, it's a necessity. Whether it's making time for a hobby, getting enough sleep, eating healthily, or simply taking a few moments to breathe, self-care activities contribute significantly to our mental and physical health. Incorporating movement into your daily routine was another tip we touched upon. Physical activity, no matter how small, can have a profound impact on your mood and energy levels. So, whether it's a brisk walk, a quick stretch, or a full-on workout, get moving. Practicing mindfulness, being present in the moment can also help maintain a healthy balance between work and wellness. It allows us to manage stress better, improve focus, and enhance our overall quality of life. Lastly, we talked about fostering a culture of wellness in the workplace. It's not just about individual efforts. Creating an environment that supports and encourages wellness can make a significant difference. Remember, Wellness and work don't have to be at odds. With a little planning and a lot of self-care, you can craft a life that embraces both. Here's to your health and productivity.